Dr. Itzhak Dremer, hello to you again. Hello. As part of this course and part of the uh, coming university and part of the coming book, we're opening the next chapter regarding the ultimate medicine that you teach, that you search, and that you with many, many other people are practically doing and helping so many people that are suffering for, from ache, a physical one, emotional one, what would be our next chapter? The next chapter will be the next medicine within the ultimate medicine will be, will be the musculoskeletal medicine. Okay. Part of it will be chiropractic, part of it will be osteopathy, part of it will be physiotherapy, um, part, part of it will be um, traditional, Chinese traditional uh, type of musculoskeletal uh, medicine. The point is this. The importance of the nervous system and the spine and the joints mm -hmm. are primary, which means every action in our body that goes through our brain, through the spinal cord, through the spinal column, and will exit with nerves, it will go to every part of our body and back, to the spinal cord and to the brain will be very important medicine. Without that medicine, <clears throat> medicine is not complete. Because if you will have an end result, let's say, a, let's say a heart condition, and your T1 and T2 vertebrae will be subluxated or not in position or stuck or locked, and you will address only the heart but not the commands from the brain to the heart, through the spine, and back from the heart back to the brain. If you're not going to correct the pathway, that patient will never be healthy. You might manage his heart somehow, but healthy is not going to be. And therefore, if you're not becoming an expert in understanding spinal type of medicine <clears throat> you're not going to be a complete medicine a complete doctor actually because mm -hmm. you might treat a condition you might treat a symptom however you might not treat the cause so this medicine is priceless and we need to study it very deeply and to understand the connection between total health, the nervous system, the spinal cord, and the joints. Otherwise, we cannot give a complete medicine. That's why it's a very important part of medicine, ultimate medicine, is the chiropractic, the osteopathy, the physiotherapy. To understand the connection. The muscles. The muscles, for example, the connective tissue, <clears throat> the vertebrae, the joints the cartilages, tendons, ligaments, everything. If, if it's part of our creation, it's part of our body, and it's a very, very important part of our body because we are locomoting, moving, motioning, experiencing this world under the stressors on that system, musculoskeletal system. So it's constantly under attack, even when you sleep. Even when you're in rest, you're still on your joints. You're still heavy on your shoulders and your hips and your head. So you need to understand that medicine very well and to know how to address it. First to find what is wrong with that and then how to address it. So then you give a complete, more complete medicine or answers to the patient that have problems. Give me, a, for instance, a, an example in which you use these physical tools in order to help your patients. I have very good two, two very good examples. Yes. I just got a one month old child. One month old. One month old with torticollis where his atlas shifted and when it shifted his neck locked to one position and his whole body went into a crescent. And if that will not be corrected, he's going to have a lot of problems. To begin with, scoliosis. 
and then it's possible asthma and heart conditions and ADD, ADHD because he's not going to be with his fully, uh, fully um, channeled energy from his brain to his body and back. Now, exactly in the same time, I got a 70, uh, a 65 year old doctor that when she was born, she was born with a torticollis. However, very late in her life, they tried to correct it by surgery wow. and it failed. And now, her consequences are terrible. What she is, what is this, the, the, the ache that she's suffering from? It's beyond ache. Now she's have difficulty walking, difficulty balancing, difficulty living. All because <clears throat> her atlas and the C2 were locked in position where created uh, on the base of the spinal cord um, tension and pressure and the information through the, from the brain to the, net, to the rest of the body through the spine is compromised. And she is very ill now, and if this was corrected when she was a month old, or two days old, or a week old, she would not be in my office now when she's 65. And that's a big problem. So, <clears throat> when you address these spinal musculoskeletal problems early, and any, at any given time, you change their health from poor to their potential with that, within that time. Though she is a doctor? Yes. So she is part of the Western doctors community. Yes. She teaches medicine. Yes. And yet she saw you on YouTube, on the social networks, yeah. and uh, she came to ask for your specific help. Why? Because where she went to get help, they try to bypass the problem by creating another problem. Well, that was a big mistake. So they, 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 they cut something to make it longer, and it was a big mistake. It just got worse. So now when she's coming to me, I still have some room to work with her, even though the surgery failed, to work with her to the situation where the spinal cord would be released at, at that specific place. So the nerve flow or the energy from the brain information from the brain to the rest of the body through the spinal cord would be better and then she'll be better and she would be better and in, in comparison to the baby I needed with him two to four treatments to change all his to change his life when he's a mo one month old to the rest of his life it's amazing when you examine for instance the baby one month years old one month old yeah what was this the situation that that you you've seen you experienced what, what what did you see okay so first of all, he was born. He was in a, um, in a what we called pelvis position when he was to, to his birth. So he came to the birth canal with his head up, not down. Mm -hmm. So they pulled him out by force, wow. and they subluxated or, or created damage to his first vertebra. So his head was locked. Was locked. So when he came, he was all the time with his head to one position, all the time. So that was the first indication. Then he was uneasy, and his life is not, go is not going as it should go, free and relaxed and without pain, and he's in pain. So the, his development would be, let's say, less than it should be at all times. And the, his parents were aware enough that something is wrong. The parents got um, a word about me from a doctor with the, from Adassa in Kai mm -hmm. that his kids were under my care before due to certain, uh, almost the same conditions. So he sent them to me and they knew about it and they checked me on, on YouTube. And then when you, the first thing that you, you've done with a baby after you heard from the parents the story is what, what physically you were doing with your hands? We examine it. We examine how is the atlas situated, how mm -hmm. is the pelvic situated, what if there are any disturbances. By the way, he was, <clears throat> his uh, uh, skull bones are deformed a little bit. So we need to give attention to that. We need to adjust that too. Because when your brain sits under pressure, then 
the rest of the information is going to be within problems, mm -hmm. within, um, let's say, misbehaving because you're not in the potential to pass this information. So we saw that also, so we're going to c correct that too. So this baby has a very good chance for healthy life without pain, without scoliosis, or without other conditions, asthma and others, due to giving the correct attention through the musculoskeletal nervous system. When you have that inflow, when you have that corrected in line, then you have better life and more potential for health because that's how all the information being conveyed or most of the information being conveyed through your joint and your spinal cord, spinal column. So that's why it's such a very, very important type of medicine. Every child has to be examined. Every baby has to be examined. Every, every child in school has to be examined. Even as a provincial a method, something that can prevent that after uh, X years or decades he will be suffering from something that could be prevented in advance? Right now, very good question. Right now, every 80% of all earth-walking people have one type or another of musculoskeletal problem. Wow. 80%, 80%. every given time. Which means that if you give them solutions when they were babies or kids, right now this percentage will be dropped a lot. When, they, when you look at people now, they're manifesting what could be prevented. When they were babies or children at school that you examine, not just examine, but give them the correct treatment because they're examining today, but they don't give them the correct treatment. And therefore, it's a big problem later. And then the rest of them coming to become adults with a lot of muscular skeletal problems and internal problems and mental problems due to the fact that information does not go correctly from the brain to the spinal cord to the body and back to the brain. So yes, that's why it's so important. And also regarding the roots of the ache of the, uh, the doctor, yeah. what happened long ago, many years before she met you and you solved her problem and before the surgery and before she had so many trouble just walking around, what was the a, a initial shock that happened in her life? Birth. Birth. A birth process. Wow. Birth processes are very, very, it can be, they can be very traumatic. So how can you, well, she wouldn't remember, her mother were not, was not in the, in, the, in the therapy center of you. So how could you recognize that it all began during the, the process of birth? She remember in a very early age to have her head set in one position. All the pictures that she had in school and wow. kindergarten and places like that, her head would be tilted. And she was a little bit more on the extreme side. So, so that's when they went and uh, operated on her. But it got worse after they operated on her because they missed the point. They could have adjusted it and that was it. It was solved. That's why this medicine is very important. Does it, the, the kind of medicine, this part of just moving the, the, the bones, moving the skeleton, moving the muscles, yeah. does it hurt? Well, because if I'm stuck, I, my head is with a tilt because something is stuck there and you're moving it, maneuvering, what it, would it hurt? When, when you do um, an adjustment, a precise adjustment, it might hurt you very little, if at all. Okay. If at all. You, know, you need to be an expert when you deal with the spinal cord of a person. And a dog and a cat. We do the same thing, by the way. And the horses. Wow. Absolutely. So, you really need to know what, where, where it's strong in the spinal column, to what position, and how you're going to correct by hand or by instruments. And it's very light and it's very precise when you know how to do it. Everything is when you know how to do it. So it's rarely, you'll be in pain maybe for a very short time, very little. And when you're saying that a, a, it, it has to do with your hands or also with instruments? Instruments. What yes. kind of instruments? Special adjusting instruments. Please share what well, kind of All them. kind of um, it's very special percussion instruments. 
Okay. Very special percussion instruments with very special technology that will not hurt your spine while you go while you're going through the treatment with an instrument when needed. And in order to examine exactly what kind of physical changes are needed to the skeleton or to the muscles, would you need any kind of uh, Western exams or just you with your uh, so many years experience will identify the exact change that is needed only by looking at a person or you need any kind of x-rays or... Okay, so initially you take x-rays, you look at the position of the vertebras, where they're locked, where they, how they sit. You might have to use CT scans, you might have to use MRI, it depends on the condition. Mm -hmm. um, so you're using everything within the Western medicine in order to, all the modalities, to become more educated about the situation and you're not going to guess on your patients. Mm -hmm. Once you have a complete picture with palpating it and filling it with your experience by visualizing it, by measuring it, and with all the modalities, the x-rays, the MRI, and CT scans, and others, then you know how to approach it and what solution to give it. If it will be instruments, if it will be hand, if it will be both, on and on and on. People that are seeing this uh, video episode of your new coming uh, uh, book and want to be part of your community and want to learn to take a course and to be uh, getting practical help by you and your team. So what would you recommend them? Just to click, to be in touch, to come to visit over Skype, video, WhatsApp, physically in your uh, center? Yeah. They, you can turn to us, we can help you to set you up and see how, where are you now and how, with what profession or without, and see how to direct you to what you need through us or others. Again, the, the main vision is to create a university which will be an ultimate health provider, doctor as an outcome. So you will use, within that university, you're not going to become just an MD just a DC, just a DO, just a naturopath, just a homeopath. You're be going to become all these in one title. So then you have an understanding, 360 degrees understanding and above and under of what is a human being and his complexity to see from what angles you can, you need to approach him with his fears, diseases, pain, pains or advancements, maybe you just want to advance and not being ill. You can do that too. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's a vision now. Right now we're going section by section, but this is the vision, the total vision. And if somebody wants to be part of that vision, it's very welcome either to be in our staff or either to be in the visionary part of it or and to contributor to contribute to us to be able to provide for the next title in human health, the next title will be a higher title that can give, provide a perfect health or more potentialized, potentialized health than what's going on right now. Ultimate medicine. Yeah. Dr. Yitzhak thank you very much. Thank you.